What's going on, you nerds? It's Mark over at Chicago Music Exchange, and it is a hot one today, and I have got a hot one here in my lap. This is a 1967 Rickenbacker 4005. It is kind of a unicorn. It's got checker binding on the back of it. It's, uh, it's kind of awesome. Big semi-hollow bases uh, that was designed essentially to, to match the 360 and 370 that came out um, previously uh, from them. It's uh, you know pretty standard electronics for Rickenbacker as far as the uh, pickup selector switch the independent volume knobs, independent tone knobs, but it also has this blender knob, which essentially is just a second volume for the bass pickup. It adds a whole bunch of power. If you have, the, uh, if you have both pickups engaged, it's super handy. If you want to back the bass off a little bit or if you want to add it in and make it really wolfy, uh, awesome. I'm particularly fond of the 4005 for many reasons. It's, it's certainly gorgeous. It has a nice, slim neck profile to it, so it's easy to play, but one big reason why I'm a huge fan of the Rickenbacker 4005, outside of its looks, outside of its just overall majesty, is just the sheer size of the thing. It's huge. It comes in handy because of a big guy like me. It uh, totally hides my tit sweat. Fuck off. It's hot. Today we're going to be showcasing this beautiful beast through this Tyrant Tone 120 watt head. You could use it for bass. You can use it for guitar. Obviously, I'm using it for bass. And then this. Varelin 212 open back. It's a guitar cab, but again, using it as bass, it's an open back. It has a nice big projection to it, and for the purposes of recording, it sounds phenomenal with these warehouse speakers in the back there. Um, here we go. Mm -hmm. 